What's up guys? This is your daily twin flame reading. Today is September 1st. It's the day that I'm reading the energy, not necessarily the day that it will resonate with you. Um, ooh, my hair. <laughs> Sorry guys. So today's um, message, I'll just pull cards as it goes, like I do sometimes, um, because I want to feel the energy as it goes. But so far, I've already pulled Oracle cards, and we have Shed Old Skin as the overall energy on the Oracle. So now is the time to rid yourself of old habits, old ways of thinking, old perspectives. And it could also be people, places, and things that no longer serve your higher purpose. Um, with us being in Virgo season, sometimes Virgo season leads us to um, look at the old ways of doing things or to revisit old problems and make corrections and make changes in different perspectives to correct our course or to put us in the right place and to not continuously make the same mistakes. You know, to face the hard questions and solve the hard problems and do the hard work in order to get to us to the next phase of life. So with the overall energy being sage, I mean with being snake and also with the two other order calls being our air guardian and sage shift your perspective and sage uh, resonates with being wise and and all, you know not all knowing but knowing and making the best decisions and being a teacher and example for others um changing and shifting your perspectives to put you in a position as a teacher or put you in a position to lead and guide others when you come together in union with your twin flame internally and externally you then become a leader and a guide to others as a pathway to success so yeah, this is about correcting your past, relieving and shedding old skin or old people, places, and things that don't serve you and moving forward. So that's the old, overall energy for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. We're going to check on the Masculine first and see what's going on. I don't, I am not biased, I swear. I always check on the Masculine first. But that's how I like to do it. While we are, while I'm shuffling this... Um, I just launched my retail business today. Um, I got the keys to the building yesterday, and I launched the website today. So I'm asking for your support and pre-order effort. I work out in gym sweaters like this, but gym body sweaters. And I created a brand to fit gym culture and to motivate people to um, balance not only your mind and body, but not only your mind and spirit, but your body as well. So please support me in my effort. I've helped so many people in so many things. I even sacrificed my job. Um years ago just fighting discrimination not just for myself but for other people too so i'm just asking for support and spirit is supporting me and i'm asking for your support and pre-order pre effort and grant opening is september 15th and that's when i'll send out all the orders so let's check on and that's what today's reading is brought to you by <laughs> gym body gym, gym body tmc why because the marathon continues and it continues with you and me okay Ooh. All right, Divine Masculine, we have this offer of love, the love offer from the past. Should I keep going? Yeah, I'll keep going only because I automatically started doing that and I must have done it for a reason. So there it says, Page of Cups. Can you guys see this? You have the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups in the Masculine Energy. So contemplating, I'm not getting action actually. I'm getting contemplating, uh, making an offer for a love from the past okay oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i get it and we have the faith on the bottom okay let's start here so far for the masculine we have um oh yeah oh yeah i think this is enough cards for the masculine i really do because of this new bottom of the deck okay overcoming the obstacles to union See, you see how it said shed old skin, and then we have the seven of swords and the four of wands. The seven of swords resonate with overcoming the obstacle or overcoming the obstacles in a way of your purpose, in a way of the loving kindness being bestowed from the vine into your life. So it also resonates with deception, but for this reading purposes, it resonates with overcoming obstacles in the way of you know, your purpose or union with the feminine. So that's the energy of masculine. It is manifesting this partnership, manifesting union, manifesting union internally and externally. There is the six of cups resonating with a love offer from the past. So perhaps the masculine is thinking of a strategy to over, you know, because we have the chariot here too. 
thinking of a strategy to come together with the feminine. There's love offers coming in, and um, you know what's so crazy? Um, some of my readings, the masculine resonates as the feminine, and the feminine resonates as the masculine. I look, I'm better than what I am. <laughs> anyway, I feel like this is one of those readings. So while I'm reading the masculine energy, this is actually the person that typically resonates as the feminine. So this isn't um, this isn't putting forth an offer. This is an offer coming towards you. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Because we have four movement. So feminine expects some offers to come from the masculine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I was right. So it resonates as both. So as it pertains to the person who usually resonates as the masculine, you know, preparing yourself for to bring forth an offer with someone from the past. So if you've already come in contact with your masculine, of course you probably have. A lot of us has. Expect for movement. Expect to him, him or her to come forth with an offer for you. But the thing about this offer is the five of cups here. This is two means. For the feminine, it's multiple offers, so you can't take them all, and it's going to require faith to choose one. For the masculine, it's relieving old people, letting go of other people to come forth together, with, to move forward with the feminine. It's like not letting the past hold him or her back from union with the feminine, from loving kindness, from a better life, from better times that God has blessed him or her with, with the feminine. Not letting the old karmics, codependencies, and people in his or her life get in the way of this partnership. Making a decision to have faith and move forward with the feminine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this is. Um, but it's, it's coming from a place of a higher perspective. With this shift your perspective and change card adding to this reading, it's the masculine now has a better perspective or a clearer, more third eye perspective as to who the feminine is to him or her. So now that this perspective has changed or is changing, he's like, okay, I know who I want to be with. I want to be with the feminine. I'm ready for this offer. And I have to let go of the old in order to get here. Letting go of the old can mean, let's, let's clarify it. But letting go of the old can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. This is breaking up with people. This is breaking up with karmics. This is processing, you know, divorces. This is letting people go. Letting people, places, and things go that no longer serve the higher purpose. And why are these cards going out like that? What is this? Oh, yeah. The tower. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, goodness. Five of Wands. These cards, I'm not even shuffling. They're just falling. Fall, falling. Yep, this is the burning of coming forth with the offer. And then you have Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Six of Balance. Yep, coming forth with an offer with the feminine quickly. Like, all of a sudden, there's a shift in perspective, and he releases everybody else. Yes, it's a burden because, you know, you're attached to these people. It's not like you're not, you know, they're in your life for a reason. They're in his life for a reason, and, you know, it's just time to let them go. And so there's a sudden shift in perspective, and he's carrying the burden. He or she is carrying the burden to let them go so that he can come forth with an offer from the, to the feminine. But it's also burdensome because... Will the feminine accept this offer? Will the feminine be so open to, yeah, he has a shift in perspective, but his, his or her perspective wasn't there, wasn't at that place before. So the feminine could be, you know, not susceptible, not receptive or accepting of his or her offer. Sorry, guys, I am like, my adrenaline is high. I've been working on my website for Gym Body all day. I got to go do this blog. I'm going to blog my entire entrepreneur journey. Today's blog will be day one as entrepreneur, self-made entrepreneur. And I'm going to blog, you know, the location and stuff. But anyway, my adrenaline is high and I'm trying to speak into this reading. And it's making it a bit difficult. Maybe that's how the masculine is going to be. High adrenaline, adrenaline coming in, not knowing what to say um, to the feminine after all that he or she has been through. What can they say to us at this point? After all we've been through and waiting on them. 
or not even just waiting on them, just after all we've been through, we were the ones who knew what it was and they didn't. So anyways, nothing to worry, nothing, you know, you got this masculine, but just let them know, send positive vibes and energy through the airways, through, through spirit to the masculine, and confidence. Pray for them that they have confidence and the insight and clarity they need as it pertains to this partnership. So anyway, yeah. So he's ready, he or she's ready to take a leap of faith and move forward with the feminine. Regardless of this burden, regardless of this sudden shift in perspective and change and aha moment, he's like, okay, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to offer my love to the divine feminine. I think that's enough energy on the masculine. So we have the masculine overcoming obstacles, manifesting his connection, ready for it to bring the feminine into his or her world. Then we have this under here too. Planning, strategizing to bring this connection together. Yeah, the hangman is under there too. Um, spirit is also working on his or her behalf to bring this connection together, to manifest this connection because you guys are meant to be. And spirit has some work for you. So let's move the masculine cards over. Let's see what's going on with the person who typically resonates as the feminine. What cards do I want to use for the feminine? Um, all right, I'll use this one. I like to use my right away deck, but, you know, today I use the Manara deck. It's a bit exotic. It's not too extreme, though. You know, erotic. It's not too extreme, though. Let's see what's going on with the feminine. Let's see if we resonate with which energy today. Sometimes you can resonate with the masculine energy. Sometimes you can resonate with the feminine. I'm balancing my masculine energy heavily right now, so... Sometimes I can resonate with the or, but I'm certainly not making forth no offers towards a man, so. Ooh, Let's see. All right, spirit of the Lord, we ask. See, all these, my feminine must be going through a lot, because a lot of cards was just trying to come out. What's resonating with, what is the feminine going through right now? And let me save this video so I won't lose it. Okay, guys, I had to save that video. And sometimes on iMovie, like, I'll be doing a video or reading, and then, you know, it'll shut off and won't save it. But, you know, I take that as everything happens for a reason. Yes, feminine. Listen, the energy the feminine has been going through has been super, super positive. Super. I'll take it. Okay. They both mean the same thing. All right. And the seven, listen, the seven of swords came out on both energies. So the first combination we have is the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of um, Swords, and the Seven of Swords for the Feminine. The Feminine is overcoming the obstacle in a way of new beginnings. So the Feminine is entering a new phase of life. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the six, Seven of Swords signifying it's going to be better than the one, the phase that she's been in. You know, growing. The Feminine is transitioning. The Feminine is growing. If the Feminine is anything in energy like I am, the feminine has, is balancing both masculine and feminine aspects of his or herself and moving forward to a better phase of life, a more enlightened phase of life, a more abundant phase of life. I don't like my trash being <laughs> A more abundant phase of life, a more wise phase of life, a phase of life of opportunity, just bigger and better. Feminine is moving forward to bigger and better, bigger and better, overcoming the obstacles in the way of God's God bestowing love and kindness into her life and the light in her life, him or her life. Yeah, so the feminine is growing bigger and better is what I feel like I'm describing the feminine. It's growing bigger and better. And if that includes the masculine, that includes the masculine. If it don't, it don't. I'm getting this apathetic energy. If it includes you, cool. If it don't, don't. But no, I'm living my best life regardless. The feminine is living her best life. And it's... <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So, first let's talk about this eight of air. What's, this new phase of life is going to hit you fast. Feminine. Listen, listen, listen. Balance is no joke. When you balance your life... This, this twin flame journey is no joke. And if you've watched my videos, you should be at the point now that you know that a twin flame, this twin flame journey is more so about you than any partnership. Yes, it's about the partnership as well. But if you've been watching my videos and following me long enough, 
you should be pouring into yourself and balancing yourself as well, knowing that that's what's most important. And when you do that, when you've already balanced your feminine energy and you're maintaining your feminine energy and balancing your masculine energy, things are going to go very quick for you. Quick story. My business, my retail store that I have now, I met a woman who's very prolific in real estate and abundant. And how did I meet this? I've been in Louisiana a month when I met her. Not, yeah, like a month. And I had already met one of the most abundant and prolific real estate gurus here. So it's like, how did that happen? It happened because I had finally started taking action on my ideas and masculine energies. And I came across, I just so happened to come across her. And my life is moving really quickly. Like, I, I just got the key in my hand. I literally just met her six days ago. So it's like things move really quick for you when you balance your energy. And spirit has your back, so it's no need to worry. But when this happens, it's going to also require you to make quick decisions. So what I'm what I'm getting here is um, not only are things going to be moving quick for you as you enter this new phase of life, the masculine is going to run to you. Look at this chariot, chariot card. The masculine is going to run to you. And it's going to require you to make a quick decision. And remember I said earlier, the Five of Cups also resonates with um, multiple offers for the feminine. Yeah, like masculine's, masculine energies are going to run to you. When I say it's more than one masculine, I mean masculine energies. Remember, we all, whether dormant or active, have masculine and feminine energies feminine energies innate in us and we have the creator we are vessels of god on earth so when i say a masculine i might not mean you know the one i mean multiple men or masculine energies coming into your life um because they know you the shit feminine because they know you're abundant then we have the queen of air and death clarity of mind as to what to begin and what to end Clarity of mind as to who to choose. You're going to tell somebody to kiss your ass. Look at her. Listen, with the death card and the queen of air like this, some, I'm getting kiss my ass energy. You're going to tell somebody to kiss your ass, and it might be a Scorpio. It might, and I resonate with that, so. No comment. <laughs> Somebody kiss your ass. I cannot. Somebody is going, multiple people are going to run to you, and you're going to be very clear about this person. You tell them to kiss your ass. So, this Scorpio or whoever this death energy resonating with, you're going to tell that person, don't play with me. <laughs> you going Then you're going to go with Finn. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Air. I don't know. Sometimes my uh, readings are less predictive than others, but lately my readings have all been predictive. And it tells the story of a feminine energy balanced in herself. It continuously tells the storyline. The feminine energy balanced in herself. First, the feminine energy becomes very abundant and successful into this new phase of life and a following. And it just happens really quick and all of a sudden. And at the same time, then there's these masculine energies coming to him or her life, and they're trying to get with her all at the same time. Some of them waited too late, and then there's a decision that either the feminine makes or don't make. And I keep getting this reading, and I feel like spirit wants us to know this in advance so that we can figure out what fulfills us now. So when it happens, we can tell whoever it is that we don't want to fuck with to kiss our ass and know that that's best for our lives and move forward with whoever is best in our lives. But no feminine, whatever decision you make is the right one. Don't even beat yourself up about this. Because in this readings, the feminine beats herself up about um, who she chooses. Ain't no need to beat yourself up for people who snooze on you. Snooze, you fucking lose. Snoozy loops. <laughs> so we have six of earth and four of air. Yeah, this is going within. Choosing who to be free with. Look how free this person is. Shoes on tight, naked, just free. Choosing to remain balanced. Choosing to be free. And choosing who to, to be free with. Oh, and look how beautiful she is. Look at her. Choosing who to be free with and deciding who it is that deserves 
to have you in his and her life. And that's okay to say. That's not egoistic. That's self-love and, and, and knowing that some people don't deserve to have you in their life. Some people will deserve to be told to kiss your ass. Yep. Feminine is in peace and boss status into this new phase of life and it's not putting up with bullshit. We have Ace of Pentacle, Knight of Earth, and One of Water, which is Ace of Cups. Work on what fulfills you. Yep, that's what I just said. I said, I said, oh, excuse me. I said Spirit, I feel like Spirit wants us to work on what fulfills us right now so when all this goes down we'll know what to do what happens to my lighting we'll know what to do we won't be confused and we won't be surprised and we won't be you know tied up about it we'll be able to say oh this is what makes me happy this is what i want and if you're not supplying that need or if you're not doing what i would like to be done in my life then fuck you know kiss my ass I'm going to keep referring back to this. Yeah, so working on personal fulfillment. And, and I'm getting personal fulfillment because look at her. It looks like she's enjoying herself. Deciding to work on personal fulfillment. We have three of air here to signify in Libra season. So if this connection is coming together or if these people are coming during Libra season, then... Um, Feminine, don't get tied up now with this. We have the page of earth and we have the eight of air. Again, work on what, um, let me finish my thought before. I said, if this is all happening, this connection is happening during Libra season. Remember, September 14th is when things start going in Libra. I think Venus in Libra or something like that, September 14th, or Mars in Libra, October 3rd or something. But anyway, when things start moving into Libra, the sign of Libra, then the connection is coming in. So that means right now is the season of abundance. This is when things should be personally abundant in your life or coming through in your life. So expect miracles. So anyway, remember I said this Ace of Water and this Knight of Earth meant decide what brings you personal fulfillment because when these opportunities come in with this name of Earth and this Eight of Air, you literally feel tied up because it's so many you just don't know what to choose. Don't feel tied up, feminine. Don't feel tied up. Decide what personally fulfills you now. Decide who you feel deserves to be in your life now. So when this all goes down, it's no, it's, it's a non-issue. It's a non-issue. And I believe that's why Spirit is giving us these messages right now. Because Spirit is preparing us. Spirit is saying, listen, this is what's coming. I'm telling you, don't get them in balance when it's come through. Don't allow it to knock you off your square. Remain at peace. Remain, you're in a new phase of life. Things are all good. Don't let these masculines come in and mess that up for you or mess your mind up or make you feel tied up because they had opportunity to come to you. So you, it's okay that you cannot have all of them because all of them don't deserve you anyway. Pick the one that aligns with you and your purpose and your passion and your life and personally fulfills you like you personally fulfill yourself. All right, and I'm, this is going to be the last. We have Ten of Air, Knave of Fire, which is Page of Wands, and we have the Ten of Fire on the bottom of the deck. Ten, Ten, and then Four of Fire, Union, right under the Ten of Fire. So with the Ten of Air, again, this is completion. We got this already. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is completion, again, entering a new phase of life that's, passionate that resonates with your passion and your purpose and um i had another thought that just entered my mind about this nave of fire and this ten of air it's like stopping a connection it's stopping someone from entering um your life page of fire is also about making investments toward the future too interesting maybe somebody's going to invest in your future as well maybe they're going to try going to try to get their foot in the door by investing in your future or investing in something that you're passionate about yeah maybe they want to complete this cycle with you 
and they're going to do so by investing in you. And the bottom of the deck now we have 10 of fire and 4 of fire. But whatever happens, it burdens you. But remember, 10, 10, I came there so, so that you may have life and have it in abundance. So whatever happens, resonate with whatever brings you more life. What brings you abundance? What brings you personal fulfillment? What brings you happiness? What aligns with your purpose and what you're doing and your mission in the world? You balance your masculine and the feminine energies internally. Don't get with somebody who isn't balanced and who doesn't align with everything that you balanced for and everything you went through for. Feminine, I hope this helps. Guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let's beat this negative energy in and pour positive energy into each other. I bring these readings. I do it on my own time. Sometimes it takes longer than it should. And, you know, I do it for you. So if I ask for your support, please support. Support Gym Body. Pre-order your sweaters. Help me in my pre-order effort. I need to get at least, at the very least, 40 or 50 pre-orders between today and tomorrow so i'm asking for your support in doing so and also like subscribe and share this video let's work together i wish you love i wish you light and i wish you more life peace what's up guys thank you for watching i'm asking for your support in gym body pre-orders i need to meet 40 at least 40 or 50 sales before Labor Day. So if you, if I've helped you with anything, if I've given you insider clarity, a resume, or anything, or if you just want to support, please look on the website, gembodytmc.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.